Hi, it's Callum from Electric Kicks, and I'm sitting here with the event on Aventure e-bikes. Now, one of the questions we get asked a lot is, what exactly is the difference between the Aventure 1 and the Aventure 2? So let's have a talk about the differences, let's have a talk about what's the same, and which one is right for you. So this is the event on Aventure 1 in the step-through variant. When this was launched, it was a flagship of the event on e-bike lineup, and when it made its way to Australia, it very quickly became one of the best value for money fat tire e-bikes you could find. Towards the start of 2023, Aventon brought out this new version, which is the Aventure 2. And while it still represented excellent value for money, there were a few differences in how it worked. As we've seen on the rest of the Aventon 2023 range, the Aventure 2 comes with a torque sensor, whereas the original one that you have here came with a cadence sensor. Now they provide two very different styles of riding. The cadence sensor is a little bit more rockety. When you push the pedals, the bike launches off the mark. The torque sensor in the Adventure 2 is a lot more gentle, a lot more fluid and dynamic. So realistically, you choose a torque sensor if you want a more casual, gentle ride, if you're after something a little bit more enjoyable. The cadence sensor in the Adventure 1 is your go-to. So on both models of the Adventure, you're getting a full lighting setup. So you've got front light, you've got tail light that doubles as a brake light as well. But the Adventure 2 takes it one step further and introduces rear indicators on these bits of the bike just here. Now indicators aren't a legal requirement on the e-bike just yet. So if you do want indicators, they do improve safety. Then maybe turn your attention to the Adventure 2. However, if they're not really that important to you, you can make a great saving by sticking to the lighting setup of the Adventure 1. So now let's talk about accessories. Now the Adventure 1 didn't by default come with any accessories outside of these metal fenders. And they can also be found on the Adventure 2 as well. But the Adventure 2 comes with an included front rack that fits just here. Now that's a quite a big difference because the accessories were usually included for an additional cost. But right now, there's a special on Electric Kicks where you can get the front rack included with the Adventure 1 free while stocks last. So Aventon also made some changes to the colors that these bikes came in. So the Adventure 1 was available in black, camouflage green, and electric red. The Adventure 2, however, made some slight adjustments. You could still get black and camouflage, but instead of red, you got this cobalt blue in the step through, and both versions of Step Adventure 2 are available in slate gray. So that covers the differences between the Adventure 1 and the Adventure 2, but let's talk about what's the same. As the flagship of the event on range, the Adventure was a really top selling bike. So there are a lot of similarities between the one and the two. And that includes things like the four inch fat tires, front suspension that's more than enough to take care of most of the bumps that you're gonna find on the road, through to the metal fenders. And even the performance is quite similar. You still get that 45 km an hour top speed. You still got the same independent throttle for when you don't wanna pedal and five pedal assist modes. In fact, the only difference in performance between the Adventure 1 and the Adventure 2 is the range. Thanks to the Adventure 2's torque sensor, you can get 96 kilometers of range. The cadence sensor doesn't let you down on the Adventure 1. You'll still get to 72 kilometers on a full charge with some gentle riding. So we've talked about the features and specifications of both these models, but one of the questions we get asked is, who is a fat tire electric bike for, and why would you buy an Adventure over anything else? So the biggest reason you would buy a fat tire e-bike is because of the fat tires. If you plan on going over terrain such as snow, sand, loose dirt, or even slightly muddy conditions, the fat tires stop the bike from sinking in to those surfaces in the same way that a regular bike would. This means that they can put their power down, they're easier to ride, they go a little bit faster, and they handle the terrain much better than a regular bike. So another advantage of fat tire e-bikes is that in order to accommodate a comfier ride and the generally larger weight that these things need to carry, you get very, very good build quality. So for example, this one here is made out of forged aluminium, which makes it very strong. If you do want to attach things like racks and panniers and load this up with a range of, of bags to go on an adventure, fat tire e-bikes can handle all the weight that you need. You are interested in a fat tire electric bike. Why would you buy the Event on Adventure over anything else that's out on the market? And the simple answer is that there's nothing quite like the value for money that you get with the Adventure, both models of them. 
You don't get anything with the build quality, the throttle, the pedal assist modes, motor power, or just the general great looks of the Aventon Adventure, or the included accessories for anything close to the price that you can get both of these at right now. So which of the adventures is right for you? And that's a great question. If you've ridden an e-bike with a cadence sensor before, you'll know that they're a little bit punchier, they're a little bit faster and a bit more fun. And if that's what you sound like, get the Adventure 1. If you like the more controlled, dynamic power delivery of torque sensors, or you want the latest technology and features such as the indicators, then go for the Adventure 2. Being the model year 22, the Adventure 1 is currently on special, and you can get it for about $800 cheaper than the Adventure 2, but even at those price points, both of them represent excellent value for money for a fat tire e-bike. And both of them are available for sale right now on electrickicks.com.au.